Since I met the mammon, riding with the boys. Yeah. <laughs> in, in feet less, Maroc in, in Netherlands less. You don't need a good bike in Holland because no, it's it flat. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> Almost. Neat <laughs> moi. Yeah, All right. just as keep practicing, mate. Go on, what did you say, Pete? You can't leave us I on said suspense it's a, like it's that. It's a cycling lesson and also a Dutch lesson. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's go ride some MGB. bikes. MGB, must get better. <laughs> oh! Fresh, good morning. How are you feeling? Where are we going today? Uh, up the two dons for free 10 minute efforts. Ooh, look Roll at you. Roll back down, some 40 20s in the last hour. BDO, big day out. <laughs> <laughs> Is it? Oh, uh, it's great. <laughs> it's all right. Again. I've been training so much, I kind of forgot how to ride a bike. See, look, I, no, 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 no. That's not riding a bike, that's called doing a wheelie. <laughs> See, I just fucking down. I've lost the plot. Meet more, younger. Cabral is a cop, man. It means brood for, brood for cop, man. Uh, no, it doesn't. <laughs> it, 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 top, it means cop, man. What the f Cop man's like the top, like the leader. Yeah, top boy. Yeah, yeah. 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 And then Cabral means brood. So and brood, I, and brood for champions. Oh yeah. So George, no, don't do that. That is, I have to blur out that now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's not that kind of movie, mate. I haven't, I haven't worked out how to blur out on YouTube. <laughs> so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we got a new bunch of faces this week. We got uh, Ewan McLeod come out. We got Pete Hawkins. We got Nige. We got George Wells. Uh, Nige touched down at about 11 o'clock last night. Didn't get into Calpe for 2 a.m. So I got a nice little. Uh, Text message. Managed to forget his skewers, which is which is great. So we found some skewers from this morning. Put a new chain on. Didn't shorten it. So we're outside this sick hotel, bike shop, the big green one at the top of Calpe, shortening his chain. What do you make of Nigel forgetting his is basically half his bike? Well, I can't talk because I forgot a lot of things as well. So not my skewers, but still, yeah, I'll, I'll keep quiet on the matter. To be honest. <laughs> well, I did actually go for a ride with Nigel in Ireland just over Christmas, and I can tell you that. <laughs> Is summer bikes one thing, is winter bikes even worse. <laughs> so uh, really? I'm not surprised one bit to be honest. <laughs> the ride was planned for 9.30 a.m. and it's now 11.43. Yeah, but he didn't get out of bed until after nine. Well, I think uh, it's, it's been, a, it's been, it's just the beginning, like who knows, who knows what's gonna happen. <laughs> Fix. Yo, puncher. Yeah, over the top, and then uh, we do a service. We do a service? Yeah. Team car, team car, sticky bottle. It's very bad roads here in Spain. BD, big disappointment. Why? TTT, trying to train. He keeps having problems. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> FDO, fun day out. Oh, look at that girl. Hey. Wow. We're doing... We're you in the wrong fing spot! I can't sing that in there! BP. You're a showman. HW. HIY. I still can't grip the bars though, that's the Oh uh, yeah, that's a, so how are you how are you holding the bars then with that on your wrist? M mate, like that. <laughs> like what? Like you know the hurt you put your hands over the Oh top like of the Alitrichus and Aero. Kind of, yeah, yeah. Cause I can't I can't because of that I can't grip. So I can only I break my thumb. Is Cadence the people that put on Palace? Yes. They oh. are real G's. That's a sick race. <laughs> Banana time. Hey, you're the king of Palace, isn't that right? That's what I well, have. Well, not really. That's what Alec told me. Palace is way too hard, bro. <laughs> For a local race on a Tuesday, some right hitters go. <laughs> CWAP, can't win at Palace. So this is how we get a pro bike for Yeah, Yeah, um, apparently so. I mean, it's just yeah, like camera trickery. It's incredible. <laughs> All these tricks. <laughs> Well, that didn't go to plan. So gonna get a place there. Cheers, though. Appreciate the effort. So whilst Nigel has his second punch of the day after that nightmare of a start this morning, before I just make the use of these two, try and get a bike photo. It's not working. Mate, that's such a beautiful shot. Mate, this is the weather I've been praying for. Nigel, you legend, you've brought the good weather. Hashtag not London. Hashtag not London, 20 degrees, sun's out, guns out, here we go baby. Mate, you're looking a bit bronze, you know that? Oh mate, I'll try, I'll try.
So today, today guys, we go up to two dons, a thousand meters of elevation via finish trap. Try and stay on Ewan's wheel whilst he does his three times 10. Mate, that boy's got gas, you know that. So Ewan's about 50 kilograms and he can do, what is it? 300? Is that 307? Or is that? 20 minutes, yeah. Or is that top secret, Ewan? I don't know, I might have to beat that one out, but he can do some big watts. Got a bit of drip on you. What's your plan, lads? No, because like, it's just impossible to get a rhythm. You go like three minutes uphill, and then... Uh, <laughs> Wait, okay, let's do this. Here. Yeah. Arm wrestle? No, I... Oh, God, do you some proper table. training, bro. I thought we were going to do this arm wrestle. OTB on the bike, no. Oh. You're like, like, I, was, I did three ten minutes, and just like going along. Like, and that's like, I just did one thirty minutes, next, so why didn't you just do that? Next, next, just not next be lazy. minute you're going downhill. It's just <laughs> Talk about how insane it is that a 17 year old kid has just <laughs> absolutely whooped all of our asses what do you make uh, of that i mean i don't want to talk about it because i think he's already got quite a big head <laughs> i don't want to make his head any bigger yeah but to be fair it's quite impressive and yeah he's half my age and he's absolutely smashed me so <laughs> you know it's fine i'm cool with it it's good <laughs> I'm uh, I'm trying to rack my brains for excuses, but it's like I'm a math teacher, and he's like the same age as the kids I teach, and he's uh, pretty good at riding a bike. So my legs are sore. We're like what nine days into training here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I did three ten-minute efforts up uh, two dons. Yeah. At two ninety, which is. Like FTP equivalent. What do you reckon to this, Lawrence? We've been out for two hours fifty. Yeah. Little seventeen-year-old Ewan. Two people have already asked for a picture. <laughs> what is going on? Right, we already filmed this earlier at the bike shop. Yeah. You got fans. I know. Right. There you go. Three hours into this one. Still about an hour, an hour and a half to go, probably. It's a bit later on in the afternoon than I would have liked to still be cycling. Totally skipped our lunchtime today. And I didn't bring enough food, but that's no So there you go, pretty much four hours deep now. Back into Colossa, final stretch home. We've had our Fanta at the top of Guadalest. A bit of sugar. Ewan is absolutely full of beans as usual. Honestly, the last nine days, you wouldn't believe it. He goes out, he's done a 20 hour, 20 hours in like four days, and he comes back to the villa every night, full of beans. Done no. We left you like four hours ago. Yeah, mate, I was doing intervals, I told you. HAC. Did you, did you, went, you went to the origin for three hours, didn't no, you? No, okay. <laughs> That was scary, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, well, four and a half today. Did a uh, good day out. Yeah, so you and, you're riding for a Dutch team. Tell us a little bit about uh, what age you are now, what's, what, rate, what category you'll be riding in, and then the races that you'll be doing this year. So, yeah, um, I'm a junior. I um, was 17 a few months ago, so second year junior this year, it's hopefully quite an important year with my team. I ride for a Dutch team because it's just good for me, everybody there is supportive and, and the calendar is real good. So the team's starting their season at Kern, which I might be riding, if not I'll start my season at Guido Raybrook. Gives me lots of opportunity to just race the best races I can do. Uh, this. Like the next few months are quite important, but 
in August, lots of races suit me, so it gives me the opportunity to race the best races and also the races in England. So. Awesome. And then you have a, se a second team, you have Techers for the races in England, is that right? Yeah. yeah. Techers is just cool, man. It's like everything I stand for, really. Right. Most people don't get two teams unless they're on like a side cross on the road team. So, you know, you're pretty lucky to have support I of both, right? I'm very lucky. My Dutch team are understanding, which is real good. And then like the support of Specialized is so good because of Techers. It allows me to ride the best bikes on the road, wherever I'm racing. All right, probably. we'll go on. You've got half an hour more to do. Go on. I'm Michelle. <laughs> D.I.D. Get it done. See you in a bit, mate. See you later.